And we have hey everyone. Hey, buddy. <laughs> nice, uh, nice master, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, first off, welcome to our uh, holiday that figure skating show uh, annual wrap party. Um, really uh, kind of pumped to be here with you, Ash, and do something fun, a little different. Oh. I do not have uh, a mask that is quite. Um, yeah, man. Like I, it's. Uh, I've been told right before this event that. Uh, Ugly Christmas sweaters are passe. It's about the ugly masks, which just yeah, makes sense. Let's keep it all. Yeah, right. yeah. So yeah. I last minute decided to creatively throw something together. So since it's still Hanukkah, uh, <laughs> I have a baby <laughs> mask. <laughs> yeah. And the best thing about it is it's an onion bagel. Uh, so okay. it'll just promote more social distancing because, you know. But what if people really love bagels? I, I like I do. Yeah. Well. <laughs> this is my go. <laughs> no, uh, uh, Health Canada, new rules. Uh, if you yeah, don't right. have a filter, please yeah. use a bagel and slide it in that pocket. That's it. Um, I'll have my email listed below for any inquiries. Um, you know, I'll help out with these things. All right. Uh, should we welcome in our first guests? Go for it. All right. Our first guests today are PJ Kwong and Carol Lane. Woo! Woo! Bring them in. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, Hi, welcome to our little end of season, whatever that is, party yes. for Christmas. Two and legendary I, I one, personalities. Dylan, I've got one thing to say. When was the last time you and I had the same hairdo? I'm just asking. I, this is the first. This is the first. I've, I've, been trying, I've been trying to catch up to you, and I'm glad I'm like, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Well, you'd have to take a scissor to your own bangs like I did last week, thinking, what am I doing? Am I four? But anyway, story for a different day. And the do that. I know. I know. And is this really your annual holiday party? Or oh, the the inaugural. 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 So there we go. Uh, yeah. I think, um, so if many people don't know, or if you do know, you should know, but I'm not that famous. But uh, Carol Lane was my coach for ever, ever since, yeah. you know, the uh, the swing dance, and I couldn't figure my left out from my right, and yeah. she's been very patient all the way to Worlds, and this is my coach forever. So. She still gives, Carol still gives me, uh, you know, issues, of, she still gives me criticism Waltz. about my Willow Waltz. Yes. <laughs> he sucks at open uh, ass turns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, many of you wouldn't know that PJ was my coach on Ice nightmare. That's true. We go way back, mm -hmm. way back. Do you know what? Can I say one thing? Speaking of fundraiser, um, Carol and I are headed off to another holiday party because we're very popular. It's actually one that okay. we're hosting for Ice Dance Elite. And we've raised already 1500 bucks for Food Banks Canada. Woo woo. Let's get for that. I mean, thanks for showing us up within the first few minutes of our own show. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> Jill, how much money have you raised for nothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What can we say? <laughs> but it takes me back to Ice Nightmare, which was also fundraising. I don't think, Asher, you were ever part of Ice Nightmare. You should have no, been. No, I was too young at the time. I was <laughs> a wee baby. And, uh, you know, I was not known to the ills of the world yet. Um, <laughs> My was in it, though. Yes, what? little John yes. White. With me, with me, yes, yes. Loved it, loved it. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, so what made you... Uh, do this fundraiser today and how's it and how is the fundraiser going to be like set up? Like what's, uh, what are you guys doing uh, for today? Pretty much this. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Just pretty much. We, we've got a link to food banks, Canada. And so you can just go online and donate. And it, it really started back in the spring in, in the first lockdown. Um, and I started to hear this term food insecurity which I'd never heard that term before. And it really got me thinking, you know, about how, how desperately some people are struggling during this time for, for many different reasons. And, you know, we all got very used to at the supermarket being able to put things into the food bank and stuff like that. And that all kind of disappeared and, and shopping became, you know, much more of an event and, and everybody was just so focused on getting in and out of the store and wearing their mask and, the charities was, were struggling. And I don't know if you remember, but back in the spring, a lot of Canadian artists did a TV show in support of Food Banks Canada. 
And um, I actually watched that and thought it was great. And it, and it kind of stuck with me. So when PJ and I thought about doing this little party, we thought, well, wouldn't that be a great thing to do to carry that on again? So I'm just so thrilled that it's it's already been successful. It's great. And you know what else? It is a great chance to get together with um, our skating family, which is what was so cool about the fact that you guys, thank you very much for not uh, scheduling it at exactly the same time, <laughs> because it was great to be able to see you guys and what you're doing with that figure skating show. I mean, every time there's a new episode, I'm forever pushing it along to people so that they get a chance to see yeah, your yeah. brilliance. And um, you guys are so much fun to watch. You're a real, a, a real terrific addition to sort of the the skating landscape as far as commentators and as far as just having a good time yeah awesome and thank you I, well none of this would have been possible without you know pj and you carol opening the door especially for me um uh into cbc and and, and speaking about that uh how have you guys been pivoting as broadcasters and and coaches and then uh during this pandemic you know uh your there's not, there's been no really TV or figure skating on to comment on. And then for your, for your skaters at Ice Dance Elite Carol, there's been no competitions to like, you know, yeah. as motivate. So how have you guys been pivoting and keeping everyone motivated, yourself motivated and trying to keep everything engaged uh, with figure skating, like content and competitions and such? You go first, PJ. Oh, sure. Give me the tough question. You know what? I'm so lucky because I, I, uh, I'm one of those people who likes to be busy. So if you're not going to make me busy, then I'm going to make myself busy. So um, I've been able to do sort of a series of interviews with people like you, Asher, although our sound didn't work out. So we have to do it again. Schedule, yeah. uh, I know that's coming up soon. So it's just been um, a wonderful chance to really think about media in a brand new way, to think about connecting people to stories. Um, you know, I've got a couple of clients with for whom I'm writing a ton of stuff. Um, so just because you're not seeing me, necessarily everybody i'm still there working and i'm trying to stay connected to my friends and to my skating friends and um i i'm very optimistic that uh, one day soon we're going to all be back together but in the meantime it's really a whole lot of fun to sort of present stories and ideas and things like what we're doing here this kind of a show is just uh, it's just terrific i never would have thought about it a year ago and here we are well, i think the skating world uh is happy you're still doing that you are a constant in you know, skating broadcasting. So it's great to see you find ways to still reach out to the skating audience. And um, I wish I'm I could reach out and give you the five bucks. <laughs> 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 I'll donate it to the food bank, but oh, just okay, put your name. Yeah, just put my name there. I want to tap your seat for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and Carol? Um, well, I think PJ makes a very good point. You know, Asha will probably remember me saying this, but there are three kinds of people, the kind that make it happen, the kind that watch it happen, and the kind that say, what the hell happened? Although John, John, John would use a different term for that, yeah. as I would imagine. But I think it's, um, as you say, we we it's not been easy in many ways, but we've had to make our own targets, set our own goals. And, you know, I, I said to the kids, we have survived a lot of things over the years. We've survived, you know, illnesses and deaths and uh, dreadful, dreadful things that have happened. And we will survive this too. It, 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 it's a, been a very different feeling, I have to say, very surreal. I still sometimes think I'm in some kind of dream world, you know, and it's just extending forever. Um, but we have, you know, who knew about, I didn't know about Zoom or StreamYard or Microsoft Teams. And now I know about all that. So I've got other skills that I didn't have before. We were able to um, keep our focus by not concentrating on the problem, but continually tr finding solutions, mm. which I think is, is probably the best way to put it. You know, if there was, we and we all had our, days when we didn't feel like doing anything as i'm sure you guys had too um but then you just kick yourself in the bum and say right you know let's move on we got to get this going we got to we got to find a way if, if you don't if if you're not like a shark if you don't keep moving you die so be a shark right <laughs> i like that no baby shark That's it, girl. I'll hunt you down. i will hunt you down i swear <laughs> 
Amazing. And you guys are keeping busy too. Oh my goodness, Asher, you were so much fun on oh, oh. Shadow of the Blade. <laughs> and Dylan, you even, you. he was amazing. He was amazing. Oh I'm my like, goodness. Oh, you should yes. take it backstage. I'm right? I'll admit it. it great. Yeah, thank you. I had a really good time. I did enjoy it. It was nice to have fun with skating again. It's been a while. So, yeah. Well, we should have to watch. Thank it you. looked beautiful. The way they set up the show, the sets, the screens. Yeah, I agree. Again, like, I felt you had an audience with yeah. you, like, even though there was nobody there. And I thought that was just marvelous. I, I really take my hat off to the production team as well as all of the skaters who did, you know, just an incredible job. But I was so impressed that I said to John every week, oh my God, look, it's just so gorgeous to watch, which yep. is really, really nice. Really mm -hmm. nice. well done. Hey, people finding solutions. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, and solutions, sorry, Asher. Yeah. Carol and I are extremely busy. I mean, I've got to take my ironic sweater with the skates on it. Wait a second. Here we go. Um, and we got to go get ready for our other party because, as you know, we're very oh, no. and you got no. ten minutes. Go see if you care, right? Yeah, yeah. we're not at all. We're not heartbroken. Well, thank you for gracing <laughs> us with uh, oh. your presence. Um, we will hopefully drop a link to that food bank uh, at the uh, fundraiser today, I'll definitely donate. And thank you for doing such great things in a time where, you know, charities are struggling and uh, yes, amazing. And enjoy your other party, you busy, busy yeah. girls. Yeah. Happy yeah. Your part is full, I understand. <laughs> Kale! Uh, oh, we have new friends! Uh, and, and of course, Eric Radford, no introduction needed. Yeah, I just like we're in the presence of greatness. Yeah, you guys, I I just thought of a really good joke. You know, you know who I love the most when he graces me with his presence, Santa Claus. It's a rough crowd here. It's a rough crowd here. I'm, I'm... Blame. You can do blame. better than that. Um, but uh, w welcome to that figure skating show's holiday extravaganza. Ah, yes. <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> Anybody <laughs> says no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the other screen up, but it was great. Um, so uh, let's start with some questions and stuff. Uh, KO, how is life during this panorama, um, school, work? Chilling out with your cat. What's up? That's pretty much it. I'm a dog. I have a cat and a dog, so it's pretty full right. house usually. Uh, but I've been in school. I've been coaching. I've been skating a little bit. So yeah, just doing that. I've been a little busy actually with school. <laughs> are you passing? I hope so. I actually have no idea what my grades are. I haven't actually looked. So <laughs> hopefully I'm passing. <laughs> uh, at Ryerson, they would give their final marks of the season on Christmas Day. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very nice. I'm going to next week. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Well, yeah, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> that, I mean, at least you're busy. You know, yeah, there's that's true. Yeah. And Eric, speaking of busy, you know, new home, new piano. Look at you, I, you fan. I, I literally just carried my electronic piano in here, and now I'm, I'm doing this. And then I got to run back to my old place to do another load and bring it over. So it's. I'm in the middle of it, <laughs> literally in the middle of it. Uh, well, I mean, thanks for fitting us into your busy schedule. It's your... a pleasure. Oh, yes. your Always presence. a pleasure to see all of my friends in front of me like this. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Love the disembodied connection. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Speaking of what? Oh, my God. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> well, well. Is that a musketeer? <laughs> I, I, I will say, Patrick, I love, love, love your stash. It's, it, yeah, it's great. Thank it's Thank fantastic. You. Yeah. you know, I worked really hard to get it to this point, so I just don't want to get rid of it because no, it's going to be a long time. No, no, no. Keep it, keep it going forever. <laughs> <laughs> Until you can, like, I want to see some Patrick Chan wax <laughs> mustache tips happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a man who can't grow facial hair, I totally feel you. Um, so, so we... We have a game, and I'm glad Patrick's here. Um, yeah. It is Eric Radford's favorite game, Would You Rather? Oh, yes. <laughs> so first one for all three of you. Um, would you rather drink four liters of eggnog as fast as you can 
or eat the raw ingredients of Christmas fruit cake? I gotta go with Christmas fruit cake. Same. So I'll that includes that. a stick of butter, like some rum, eggs, dried fruit, <laughs> flour, flour, like all the raw ingredients. Mm, yeah. That sounds, that sounds good. Good. Oh. <laughs> butter, mmm, dried fruit, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> I'll do What's the eggnog. I'll do the eggnog. Eggnog, all right, all right. Yeah. Absolutely. I also love spending a lot of time on the toilet as well. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> would you rather do a polar bear dip and run a kilometer in nothing but a swimsuit in minus 15 or do a double run through of your Olympic year free program? Polar dip. Polar bear dip. <laughs> Yeah, I have to agree. exhilarating. I think we'd all do the exact same thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I'd be so numb for that kilometer run anyway. So, like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it would take a lot to convince me to do a lot of program again. Oh yeah, <laughs> let alone back to back. Yeah, um, I don't even think I could do half the things in there anymore. So. Uh, like Eric, how thankful, like, I mean, this is your second season doing Battle of the Blades, but I was very thankful that all of the programs were a minute 40 and we got to stand around for the first 10 seconds. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it kind of surprising though, when you first started getting back into it, like how like difficult a minute, like 30 and 40 was, and you're just like, how did I ever skate for an extra three minutes after know. this? Oh like, yeah. Crazy, crazy. And and Jess would be like, let's do 10 run throughs a day. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, really quick. Last one. Would you rather get wet willied with a candy cane in both ears for five consecutive minutes or walk over Christmas baubles and bare feet? Ooh. I think the candy cane sounds more enjoyable. Yeah, nothing is enjoyable or walking barefoot on Christmas stuff. <laughs> You'll, you'll have like a you'll have a minty aura all around your head <laughs> yeah. and it's coming out of your ears. <laughs> the candy cane for sure. Yeah, candy right. cane sounds sounds way better. Okay, <laughs> so aside from the first one, we're all pretty unanimous on these answers. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I would. I hate. I hate ear stuff. Like, <laughs> and then I think the, the longer it goes, it's gonna get stickier. Yeah, is that on your online dating profile? I don't like ear stuff. But think about it's like stepping on. It'd be like stepping on a Lego piece. Do you know how painful that is? Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> At least the bobbles are glass and just get stuck in your foot. It's fine. <laughs> are made of glass? I'm, I don't celebrate Christmas. I have no idea. Yeah. Then you have an excuse not to do those back-to-back -back run throughs. You're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have very sensitive feet as figure skaters. So yeah, yeah, anything exactly. with feet? No. <laughs> no, no dice. All right, Eric Ko, thanks for joining us. Chitty, you stay where you are. Have a happy holidays, guys. Love seeing your faces. Bye. Nice to see you guys. Mr. Chan Man, we are uh, we are going to bring in another guest to join you. Oh, great, great. Another legendary, uh, another legendary figure skater. Yeah. The one and only. He's Santa's little helper. <laughs> and he's hiding in the dark. Well, yeah. yeah, I can't wait to see this. Or Santa keeps his helper in like the attic in the dark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. he doesn't have rights. Oh, uh, no, he just died and ran away. We were making fun of him. All right, we'll move on with you. So uh, <laughs> tell us about your life. How are things? Wow. Um, yeah, it's been quite a year. I mean, um, honestly, despite everything that's still happening. I think it's been a very exciting and fun year. Um, Liz and I, my, my wife and I, we got married and um, early in the summer, which was awesome. Uh, we got it, we got to get married in, in our favorite place in Tofino um, and perfect timing because we didn't have to invite anyone. <laughs> so <laughs> it was honestly the best. I highly recommend, um, I'd like to start this new trend of, you know, save your money, <laughs> go elope. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's exactly. honestly, it's, uh, it was so nice. Um, I got to surf right before I got married, which is ideal in my world. Um, <laughs> so unfortunately, the only bad downside is that I haven't been skating. I haven't been able to kind of express myself on the ice, uh, which is, Whoa, talking about expressing oh, wow. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. You we got it. You're not so really amazing. <laughs> Is Patrick Chan still talking about his marriage? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
I sure am. Flesh. He's still like a proud uncle, you know? He's like, I'll show him a picture. It's still new. I like That's, it. nice. That's really nice. <laughs> Do you want to fix your camera? We're like getting we're getting a great we're getting a great view of your nostrils, which are very beautiful. The skinniest yeah. nostrils I've ever yeah. seen. They look amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Um, <laughs> there we go. That looks good. So I can't hear you. I'll just say hi. You Merry can't hear him. Happy New Year. Happy holidays, Patrick. Love you, Asher. Love you, Dylan. I love you, but I can't hear oh. you. So I'll try checking in later. Okay. <laughs> cool. And just, just like that. Yeah, just, like yeah, and Asher's frozen too. Asher's, he's either really upset or he's frozen. I'm not really sure. But <laughs> surprise. Like, why? Why are you leaving us? And that's how I feel about him leaving me all by myself. Um, hey, these are the things we have to deal with now. You know? You know it's internet connection. <laughs> internet connection. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Kind of like my my partner forgot their program and now I have to you know go laugh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <by> yourself. <laughs> um, all right, that's cool. That's cool. We'll chat. I like my Patrick time, anyways. Uh, talk to me a little bit about um, Nepal. Oh my gosh, yeah. So it, it's crazy to think that was at the beginning of this whole pandemic. Um, we left we left Vancouver to come. Uh, we actually even we couldn't even fly through China at the time because China was in lockdown. And right. We were a bit nervous and Liz's mom was like, what are you guys doing? Why are you, why are you going over there? And we went, it was fine. We got back, um, which was an epic trip on its own. Um, we hiked for five days, kind of following. We followed our the path towards um, base camp, Everest base camp. Um, but then we just veered a little left, um, which is actually, we stopped at a, a lake called Gokio Lake. It's uh, it's people who have done, done Everest, they would know where that is because you go, you pass by it on your way down after your your trek up to Everest. So um, it was a frozen lake. We we spent uh, three days there um, skating and obviously getting all the footage. And it was really to help promote um, Nepal tourism, um, trying to bring different activities, trying to support um, the Sherpas, so the local mountain. Uh, population, um, they, they rely heavily on tourism and they rely on people coming to do Everest, but Everest, you can only do April through May. Um, so the rest of those 10 months, they're, they're not doing much and they're not making any money. So they're trying to bring in different activities, figure skating being one of them or hockey, um, mountain biking. I know they did altitude, uh, mountain biking, um, al high altitude, um, uh, skydiving. Uh, so there's, and seeing, there's, a, there's a bunch of options that they're wow. trying to explore. Um, experience. Yeah, yeah, it was absolutely epic. Um, and what a beautiful place. The, some of the, the most humbling um, experience I, I've ever had because we were hiking and a catch, you know, catch trying to catch our breath and looking up in the in the clouds and and there's these beautiful beautiful hi Sandra. Hi. Hi. Sandra. <laughs> hi. I just, carry on. This is fascinating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've got more than audience now. <laughs> there, there's there's just it's amazing to see these mountains just like you you look through the clouds and you see like a little part in the clouds and you're like, "Oh my god, mm. is that a mountain there?" And it, it's it, it, that's just how high they are and you're already at like 12,000 feet and then there's still mountains going up. Uh, you know, up until 20,000 feet. So wow. um, it was, it was an amazing experience to do together. I'm so, we're so glad we got to do it together. And, um, and then we just, now that's kind of, we caught the bug of, of trying to find kind of wild ice, quote unquote, mm -hmm. um, because that's kind of awesome because that's the way mm -hmm. skating began. And uh, it's such a great way to reconnect with um, what we love about skating, which is, you know, being outside and and uh, skating with complete freedom and abandonment. <laughs> That's awesome, man! What a what a wild story! So yeah. uh, so glad it's you guys. It's incredible that you did that. that. Thank you. That you yeah. really did that. Yeah. Super awesome. All right, buddy. Uh, send my love to Liz and Poppy, and stay Boy. well, stay in touch. Happy holidays. Much love, man. Good to see Good. your face. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> nice to see you. Hello. Georgia. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We've lost Asher. There oh, he is. Matt. I guess I'm, I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> That's right.
call him another time. Hi, Sandra. How are Hi, you? Hi, Asher. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing much have you <laughs> Have you recovered? Have you uh, both recovered? Slowly and surely. I need like my whole right side like elongated by like a torture device, but I'm I'm really <laughs> <laughs> have you recovered? Yes. Uh, well, I, I, sort of. I'm not very good at coming down after an intense production, and this one was certainly an intense production. And so what I did was the day after we finished, the day after our last show uh, finished, I started <laughs> painting my living room walls and I've been staining the floor and sort of doing this DIY. I've been flogging myself with manual labor. That's the only thing I knew what to do. And you know, it, those things become monsters. So it's been a couple of weeks now that I've been doing this. But, so I'm just sort of coming down um, from that whole experience. And it's kind of cool because I've just been painting the walls and thinking about everything that we went through. Um, that's how I deal with <laughs> coming down from a show. Fair enough. I mean, it was uh, the three of us were all there. It was it was a beast. It was oh, it was an experience. But it, I mean, it was a beast this year. Yeah. Congratulations and, for you know well, seeing it through. It, well, thank it, you, but real. thank you guys. I mean, I I talked you both into doing this show, and I'm forever grateful. I mean, you know, Asher, you were incredible with Jess mm -hmm. and so so um fabulous to watch the two of you in your journey and then Dylan was behind the scenes working as a coach with Akeem and Vanessa and um it was just great to have you both there and what was frustrating though was that we had no contact really except for our zoom sessions and and uh i wasn't i came to the rink a couple of times when you were training but i i wasn't allowed to really be there that much and so we only saw each other on show days blocking days show days when i was allowed to be there and you know so so much of it was long distance and over zoom and uh so that part was was frustrating i yeah. wanted to be at the rink more but um we worked from home well, I mean, as a as a team, the whole production team, you guys sort of seem to band together and make it work. You know, yeah. Carol was talking earlier about finding solutions and not focusing on the yes. problems. And I mean, well, there were a couple of hundred people behind mm -hmm. all of that, right? And mm -hmm. just amazing. And everybody, the attitude that everybody had was fantastic. Everybody was just so grateful to be there. And and and. Um, we all knew how precious it was to work, to have a show, to be able to do this. And we were all protecting it as, as best we could. And, and uh, um, I was really grateful, of course, for all of them as well. So yeah, I, yes, <laughs> we survived, we got through it. It was um, an amazing experience and we're all very proud of it. And you both should be very proud. Well, I, I know myself, I'm very grateful the experience so thank yeah. you well, well yeah, I'm, I'm i'm internally grateful because to me it was like um you know pulling teeth to get me to do it and then actually well, not mm -hmm. so much <laughs> not so, you know just it was like just easy just, to it a couple just, of two hour phone calls my feet, like <laughs> yeah I'll come. like a kid when no, they go I mean, <laughs> that was yeah. me. Um, <laughs> but i am super grateful that you reached out took time to get to know my story and Mm -hmm. where I was emotionally and and um you know I, I, going into it it was very much like okay I'm gonna get it done because I can actually like, give money to charity and like the bonus of me yeah. actually really enjoying it and getting fulfilled like emotionally and spiritually was yeah. something that I didn't expect so I really want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to feel that thank you thank you I'm 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 glad I'm glad that you did it and that it worked out for you and that you had the journey that you had and that we were able to tell your story. Thank you. We're, we're actually going to uh, bring in another very valued member of the uh, Battle of the Blades family. Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy, welcome. Nice to meet you. 
How's this? <laughs> well, that's oh, extraordinaire. Oh, All right. <laughs> I came in with the colors. I don't have a sweater. Of course you did. Well, I did. The best I could do was red. I didn't have any Christmas stuff, but I've got red. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually don't it's have It's so good to see you, Elaj. It's good yeah. to see you too. It's good to see you too. And I'm lucky that I have my fiance Michelle who shops vintage all the time and found this green <laughs> the perfect um, red sweater. thing that I wore. It's not even mine. So but I'm happy to wear it. <laughs> it's good to see you, Sandra. Thank you. It's for great everything. to see you. Sandra, I love you. you so much for stopping by. It's great to see you. Thank have you both. Holidays. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay, Stay healthy. Safe Stay you. Safe. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And see you all soon. Yes. <laughs> My man. What up, bro? Boys, what's good? Boys, good. I would do what it do. <laughs> what it do, what it does. I keep getting I kept getting kicked out because my internet wasn't so good. So I'm glad that we're in. I'm here and I'm hoping that I'm gonna stay throughout this whole little I thing. hope so too. Don't worry. Don't worry. I already missed an entire interview with that, Patrick. Yeah. I'm pretty sure <laughs> <good. It's laughs> yeah. like good Wi-Fi. Where else? I don't know what, what happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, the best Wi-Fi. I'm gonna have to call Bell no Rogers and just cuss him out again. Yeah, Every, you don't even know who your service provider. Every, well, because I had to keep switching them because they're all you're trash. Paying, you're paying your own company. That's probably the problem. Oh no, they're all trash. They're all trash. Um, <laughs> I'm calling them monthly, and I'm like, yo, what is this five internet? Why, why can't I even? I can't even watch YouTube sometimes. I'm like, I'm like in the city, yo. Like, what's wrong? Anyways, uh, <laughs> but we're here now. We're here. We're now. here now. So, yeah, let's, yeah. Keep it going. let's keep We're pushing. Good. Solutions. We got this. Uh, I'm hot spotting. So good right to now. see the both of you. So good, <laughs> good to, to see, see the both you, of man. you. Good yeah. to see you. Uh, you've been a busy dude this year. You've been a busy guy. Fairly, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's a rare thing in 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 COVID. So I'm I'm extremely privileged and grateful to say that I have been I have been busy. Um, well, you've been doing a lot, a lot of, of stuff. You're not just been busy. You've been doing a lot of great things. So. Um, you know, before we get into it, kudos to you. Thank you for everything you're doing for the skating world and trying to make this world a better place. You know, we're all uh, better for it. Um, we want to show uh, a piece of content, a video you made that is just super powerful. So if you will indulge sure. us and uh, we'll, uh, we'll watch this video. Sure. This is good. a coordinated <laughs> activity happening across this nation. And so we are in a state of emergency. Do what you say this country is supposed to be about, the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people, and we are tired. Like every time I see that, it's just. My, where's my? Yes. <laughs> where's my hand? <laughs> Thank you. Talk, talk to us about that, man. What was, uh, what was what was that like making that? It was um, 
it was quite a it was quite a, a package of emotions um it's uh you know we were right in the middle of um of the you know the monthly protests and you know right after the murder of george floyd and um and the rise in awareness on anti-racism and um you know what feels like for me for the first time in history um the experience the black experience the racist experience um someone who's lived in that world um has finally been uh recognized acknowledged and um people started listening uh to the experience of of people who um who suffered from racism so i think that um and systemic oppression most importantly um and so i think for me it was just a it was a time for me to express all these things that i had inside of me you know the, you know these videos of of you know um, african americans getting killed by police um you know every time i've seen those for the last 10 15 years you know it's always you know done something to my heart you know it, it's it's always you know it's always um uh it's almost like you know you relive a certain level of trauma um and and suffering every time you see something like that and then to see you know for the longest time to see the world kind of see it and then kind of move on um and continue uh you know the way that people live with their jobs and their lives and you know people you know get distracted and it's like you know you forget what actually happens and so you know this constant um rise in emotion and pain and then people kind of forgetting about it um has been hard and i think this last one uh with with george floyd was was massive and um <clears throat> and having having seen my dad you know experience um systemic oppression um just watching it happen um, in my life is something that's always been close to to my experience not me personally you know i wouldn't necessarily say i've suffered the most amount of racism and systemic oppression um it, you know uh as 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 a human being but i've seen it firsthand with my father and and with people close to me and so there's always been this thing in my mind where i've wanted to express that in some way in the only way i know how which is skating um and skating is not um it, it's not an environment and culture where that is you know, that that's seen or that's discussed mm -hmm. and so i i just for me you know I, I just saw this opportunity to um just start that conversation in my way express myself heal myself um but then also use it as a um a, a, as an important tool to inspire young BIPOC skaters who are starting in the sport to, um, to you know, to know that they can be who they are and who they want to be and be authentic to themselves. And that's good enough, you know, and that's, um, and that's beautiful. It's more than just good enough. It's beautiful and it's magic. Mm -hmm. And, um, and also I just wanted to move in a way that I was in, you know, I haven't moved before in skating, you know, when we're competing, when we're doing shows, you know, you, you, you do things a certain way. And I was just like, I'm going to use music that you don't really use. And why not? You know, I'm going to go, you know, go deep into, you know, the rap hip hop style. Why not? I'm going to use, you know, I'm going to dance in a way that I haven't been able to really dance before um, on the ice and, and just allow myself to share this side of me, allow myself to be creative, to share my artistry, but then inspire you at the same time. So, um, so it was, it was, it was, it was a beautiful experience, and again, a very healing for me, because um, my own experience in skating, I've lived a lot of things, and um, you know, and not just necessarily in terms of racism, but um, just as a as an athlete and as a competitor, um, it felt good to take my skate and throw it, you know, <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. and then That's kick it, you know, all these years of you know of things that you so you, you feel so and you experience you know so yeah no no yeah <laughs> sorry i'm not supposed to say that we're on cbc but what but yes absolutely uh i don't think they yeah. can beep us we're alive uh, so <laughs> but again, like with that video uh working with me and dylan and coaches uh, coach michelle hong and and maria gerber and my sister acacia hill we came together to create fscia to you know create like a support group and uh, for BIPOC skaters to know that your representation matters. You have a history here. You're doing 
you belong here and you don't have to leave your blackness at the door with, in whichever way you would encapsulate that to, you know, fit a mold. Cause so often we yeah. just use like Tchaikovsky or like whatever. We always have to fit this kind of little mold. And as soon as we speak out about our own existence as, as human beings, as black human beings, as black bodies, it often comes with, oh, well, not here. It doesn't happen here in skating. It doesn't happen, but that is our yeah. truth and we know it. And that's, that's, yeah. it has happened. So it's, yeah. you know, creating that environment. So thank you for, you know, creating this group with us and we have so much work to do, but I'm so excited to be yeah. able to do it with the both of you. Um, exciting and, uh, work. It's yeah. exciting work ahead. Yeah, and, you know. right. thanks, for, thanks for having the courage to speak up. You know, it's, it's a hard thing to start the ball rolling and it's a lot easier to jump on when it's moving. Um, you know, and it, and it, it took a lot of, uh, a lot of guts from a lot of people, but, um, you, yeah. you guys especially have been very outspoken and, um, you, you are making changes. So, you know, yeah, thank you. And for me, on. um, for me, Asher you know, was, um, was one of the biggest reasons that motivated me and inspired me to get on this, get, get to, to welcome the conversation and then dive into the conversation, you know, mm -hmm. just dropping off a cliff, not knowing where it's going to go. Um, you know, I remember in the summer we, I had a conversation with you Dylan, and we, you know, we went pretty deep and, um, and, and, and I, I felt like there was, it was the right it was the right time for us because we've seen it but the conversation hadn't started and then thanks to asher who started this conversation with the whole skating community we're here now and fsdia is alive and we're doing you know we're doing events and we're, we're creating community worldwide and um it's all thanks to you know asher starting this but also allies like you dylan and, and all the people that are within the organization of fsdia that are making this happen and um and creating this beautiful community of box skaters that get to meet and connect and mm -hmm. heal and share and be it's beautiful that's it amazing it's amazing incredible. Man, I love you so much, buddy. I love you too. I love the so both of love. you so much. So much love. Just um, like the biggest. The biggest. The, big, the biggest love. These little screens, we can't. <laughs> oh, I got the hot part. It makes me hot. <laughs> um, so I guess we gotta. I guess we gotta keep this moving. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so let's let's bring in our other friends, uh, figure skating friends. Up next, we have Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marinara. Put that. What's up, oh, guys? Guys. All right. <laughs> you you guys guys the noodle. Oh, the noodle. Oh, and the noodle. Nam nam. <laughs> some serious costumes happening. Right? Oh, <laughs> guys, I don't have a sweater, so I'm wearing pajamas. That's the sweater. <laughs> Good call on the onesie, Kirst. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Ma'am, you have a built-in buddy on your shirt. But do you have a Christmas? <laughs> yeah, do, oh, do you have right. a holiday? Is that, is that off on a shelf? What is that? I don't, uh, I don't know. I got it at like a store that was like about to shut down last year. Yeah. I don't have a holiday oh, mask. That's good. But I made a, a bagel mask for Hanukkah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Ugly cover mask, yeah. It's an onion one too to keep people six feet away. Oh, good. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Elijah, one quick question for you. You were you yes. were a bomb diggity judge on battle. If you could take back one mark and change it, what would it be? Ooh. Oh, I did that. I'm that guy. I went there. Ooh. That's what's behind okay. me though. So it's both of us asking you. Okay. Um, I can't remember which week it was. It might have been maybe week three or four, but Chris and Carlotta, um, there was one mark I wish I would have given them one, like the point one more um, because they really did a good job. And uh, I was, I, I, I really enjoyed I think it might have been performance for week four. Um, they were great. And um, looking back, I would maybe give them a one, uh, a point one more. All right. Well, I'm sure they're yeah. sitting at home very grateful for your <laughs> your your early uh, holiday present. <laughs> you should, you know, you well, should mail you. them. You should mail them a point one. Just like <laughs> draw a zero point one, send it in the mail. They'll probably oh, frame. Versi would love that. Versi yeah, would love that. Yeah, I would love to see. Okay, that. I'll take that. 
I'll do that. I'll it's do nice that. to but see you. you. I know. It's good to see you, Kirsten, Mikey. It's so, so nice to Ma'am. see you. Miss you, buddy. I know. I wish I could give all of you a hug. Yeah, it's been it a while. I don't know who makes the order of things, but for whatever reason, Mike and I always get put after Elage, which sucks for us because it sucks for anyone to do anything after Elage. Uh, and then, you know, it always happens to us. It happened again today. All right. You see, Elage goes last next time. Elage goes last next time. Yes. <laughs> As you should. Being la going last is is hard. It's the hardest, and you guys clearly have the talent <laughs> and the skills to go last. I think oh, that's huge. You. I wouldn't be able to do it. So you know you can I'm handle. Glad it, I'm right? going here. Yeah, you can handle it. I wouldn't be. I would. I would bomb. I would right now. I would pop everything. <laughs> uh, all all of my words would just fly out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, anyway, thank you. Thank you so funny. much. Say hi to Michelle. Good to see all of you. Yeah, say hi to Michelle. Son. <laughs> Michelle. <Son. laughs> right. Hello. How are we? Are our actual still competitive figure skaters? Still doing the ish. Yeah. Keep right. going. There's not a lot of competitive happening right now. <laughs> you have the label. You well, if you were in Russia, it would be great. <laughs> not really, though. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, speaking of yeah. not, not many competitions, uh, you guys had your first competition in 10 months last week, this week? It yes, was like uh, um, Friday. Friday. Yeah, so right, just, Monday, yeah. Tuesday for me. And so that was uh, the virtual challenge submission. Is that what it was? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, how was it doing your first competition? <laughs> um, <laughs> it was different. It was different, that's for sure. Um, the All three of us had a bye uh, through the event because of um, Nationals last year. So we did have the option to opt out of it if we wanted to. And, and honestly, it was an option that I was personally, I can't speak for Mike, I was really considering taking because you know what? It's weird. It's it's not the, the competition format that I particularly enjoy doing. We don't have um, fans or audience members. There's not really um, a huge competitive atmosphere around us. We we are all in individual hubs to make it safe because of COVID. So Skate Ontario ran it brilliantly. They did an amazing job, um, but it's just so different than anything that we are used to and anything that kind of brings the, the fun and the enjoyment to competitions, that kind of energy that we enjoy but it went well it was it was ran um successfully and i'm glad we did it after all mike <laughs> yeah it was, it was definitely uh good to get that uh competition feeling again uh, it's pretty hard to emulate that in uh, practice so uh definitely to get out there under a little bit of a pressure situation and get that competition feeling again was definitely missed after 10 months and looking forward to to getting that again and hopefully uh, in person. Nam? Yeah, I felt dead inside. It was <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely a weird feeling um, not having the fans there or even the judges. Um, but for me like when I skate I, I skate for I skate for the audience and I project more of it which is not really a good idea. I should be doing that more to the judges cuz that's where you get the points, but um, in general like it was a weird experience for sure, but I'm really glad that I was able to kind of just use that opportunity um, and do a, do a full program run through for both short and long. Yeah. <laughs> on a Monday, good job, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who does run throughs on a Monday? <laughs> <laughs> Dancers. <laughs> unless, you're not, unless you're in trouble, in which case. Um, <laughs> but speaking of which, I have no idea what's happening in the Canadian scene, like in terms of programs. So what are you, uh, all skating too. Uh, we'll start with you, Nam, since you answered last. What are your short program and uh, free program? Are they new? Are they the same? Um, okay, so my short program is the same from last year. I'm skating to uh, Blues for Kluke. Mm -hmm. um, originally, it was supposed to be Adios uh, Nonino, but like two weeks before challenge, um, we decided to change it just because I wasn't really feeling comfortable uh, skating a tango. Um, and then for my free program, I'm skating to uh, Me Mankarai by Josh Groban, um, more emotional piece. I haven't really 
done an emotional program in like a hot second. So uh, it's definitely an interesting process, but um, one that I'm really enjoying. Cool. I was going to say that's news to me. I thought you changed your short, but I guess you changed it back recently. Yeah, I just like cool. decided like a couple weeks before. Not, not, nothing like last minute, I guess. <laughs> no single I mean, in, the time of, in the time of this uh, panorama, it's uh, it's um, it's always last minute. There's nothing. Yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> sure. I think that's kind of how Nam rolls anyway. So yeah. like, a last minute guy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Robert. He's like, you know, at first like, he was he would always get heart attacks from it, but now he's just like, all right, whatever. He's we'll used to it. it. Yeah. When you guys. Um, yeah, we changed both. Um, we elected to do that because um, we are nearing the end of our career and, and creating is our favorite part. So we kind of, we figured that we would have less opportunity to compete this year. So maybe it would make more sense to, to keep our old programs, but we just weren't willing to give up that aspect of choreography with um, Julie Marcotte, who we love. And, uh, and we love working with. So we changed both and our short is to Give Me All Your Love by Alabama Shakes. It's different for us. I it's love difficult. It. I love that song. Oh my it's God. It's difficult for us for sure. And it's definitely not to the point where we want it to be yet, but we hope it will get there. And our long is to um, a piece that Canadians will be familiar with. Uh, <laughs> we weren't sure if we should really use it at the start because it was performed so well um, a little over 10 years ago, but it's The Blower's Daughter by Damien Rice. Oh, yes, yes, and yes. So Canadians will know that Jess and Bryce, Dubay Davison did it and they did it amazing, which was partially the reason I think why we wanted to do it because we were at impress impressionable ages when they got that world medal using that piece of music. and. We just loved it so much. It spoke to us so much. So we are hoping that our version um, can be different, um, but but you know, hopefully spectacular as well. Were that they able, to, able to use lyrics? No. Right. No, they didn't no. use lyrics, and we are. Right. That's, right. Right. Yeah. And that's a nice combination of songs, right? right? That's like a nice balance of styles there, yeah. which is great. Awesome. Good for you guys. I Thanks. love the Alabama Shakes, by the way. I love that. Yeah. Song. <laughs> I also love that you're you're choosing to um, make these decisions based on what fills you as opposed to, you know, the external stuff of figure skating. I think that especially in a year like this, to to still want to keep growing and to make choices and to evolve and to discover new parts of your performance personalities. That's wonderful. Thanks, Good for you guys. Thank you. Um, one more question for the three of you. What's your, this year has been a ride for everybody. <laughs> what would you say is your, your biggest lesson or the biggest change that has happened in your life or your best memory from this crazy year? Who's going first? <laughs> Give her noodle. You're up first. <laughs> in, in, in downtown Toronto that I'm going to move into soon. All right. That's like one of the, Biggest change, I guess. So I'm pretty excited. Hey, you're a grown up. That's so weird. Everything, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else has been more or less the same. Um, I would say th it's more. It's been a little bit difficult, I guess, like com in comparison to other years, and like that's a given already, just because as we all know, everything's been shut down, and just staying motivated has been quite difficult um, for all of us, I, I imagine. And you know, we're just trying our best to stay in the loop and just keep pushing forward um but yeah i don't know oh and i also got i also i also got um hudson dog. you want to see it <laughs> you have a dog and you can't remember his name <laughs> <laughs> oh what a Hi, cute buddy. Oh. he's really tired what a nice boy oh. <laughs> so yeah getting hudson and getting a new place is um my thing right now. So awesome. Thanks, Thanks, man. Congratulations. Mike? Uh, just trying to stay present every day. Um, we're getting new uh, news every 24 hours. Something's changing. So it's just kind of trying to push that aside and keep uh, performing each day and try to get the most out of each day and taking one step forward and improve our figure skating uh, 
as we can each day without having these uh, big uh, goals and big events uh, to chase towards. Still trying to take that progress every single day has just been the biggest challenge. Yeah, and I think that kind of speaks to um, the difficulty that I kind of discussed before that we are, you know, we have always had sort of a, a timeline of going um, until the next cycle and the next cycle is fast approaching. So with this pandemic, um, we were kind of feeling robbed of time a bit, like everybody, right? Like it's impossible to find someone who hasn't lost something, obviously to, to varying degrees of severity. And so staying present ha has been so key, but it's been really tough. You know, it's it's hard to um, to kind of see or, or have these disappointments and each one, you know, a disappointment passes by, something else gets canceled, passes by and, you know, and we keep forging on forward but I think through that I'm I'm sort of trying to figure out who I am aside and apart from from sport and and how I can be a person that my teenage self may have needed and that's been incredibly fulfilling um in in so many different ways in different areas figuring out sort of where I go from here and and how I can affect my little corner of the world um in the biggest and best way well good for you guys you guys are all um, you know, great role models for our sport in our country. And um, I know you will be ready to go and bounce back and um, make the most of the situation. And so just stay safe, stay positive, do the best you can as you're doing. And uh, we're excited to see uh, Thanks, what you Dale. have in store for us. Yeah, you guys too. I hope you're well. You guys did all so great on battle. So fun for us to watch. So many friends. And not yeah, email addresses to vote for everybody. But I tried so vote. many friends that we didn't even get to see each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. Bye now. Thank you. Bye, Bye. guys. Happy holidays. Stay safe. All right, so I think I think that's pretty much it. We got one uh, one little surprise guest to join us to wrap this up. What? Who else is? Oh, oh, Liz, so weird. I feel lovely. very lovely. Thank you. Isn't he beautiful? Uh, if you guys don't know, this is Jacqueline Dory, who is our producer, who has to put up with all our bullish. She's adorable. She is also adorable. Like, look at that. Look at look her trestles are. You guys have her up on me. You're adorable. down her shoulders. <laughs> uh, this is weird. I feel very much at the mercy of you two right now, and I. Oh yeah, yeah. This is it. It's Welcome to the jungle, baby. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Let's, let's overproduce her. Let's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can produce me now. Yeah, uh, you've got a little too much headroom. Can you just yeah, too much headroom? Yeah, yeah, no, eyes, eyes on the eyes on the camera. <laughs> That's hilarious. Be quicker, Jackie. Be quicker. Jackie, pithy, guys. Pithy, pithy, pithy. <laughs> we just want some bites. We just want some bites. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cut, cut, cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You guys did good. This was a great show. I love seeing all of the comments at the bottom, and I'm, like, watching everyone on YouTube who's, like, commenting and watching this episode. And I just got to say, guys, like, all of you who watch on YouTube and come back every Sunday when we have our mm -hmm. episodes and every Wednesdays with when we post mm -hmm. our content – when you guys watch and comment and engage, you guys are the best. Yes. You guys are the best. So thanks everyone watching now and who will watch in the coming days. Yeah. I mean, and if you guys didn't watch, we wouldn't be able to do this. And, you know. Very true. But Jackie, I will say, I think I did say the S word one. So I heard you. I heard you. But you know what, Asher? It's the holidays, so I'll give you a free pass. <laughs> Asher always gets a free pass. Yeah. <laughs> he gets my free pass, too. I don't use it. I just give it to him. <laughs> we all get a holiday free pass, but that's well, okay. No, you guys did great. Wasn't that fun? It was actually really fun. It was really fun. I had fun I watching. That. Yeah. That Your mom was mom. Part. My mom commented. Thanks, mom. Hi, oh, mom. I did uh, Oh, <laughs> She's the greatest. Um, thank, Ooh, you. thank you, thank Madeline. you, Madeline. Are you yeah. going to the long hair, Dylan, or is this a is this a? a I'm just letting her go. I'm just going to see what's you know. Mm. Oh, Erica! Hi, hi, Erica. I hope you and Shavanna are doing very well. And Kason. that's one of my uh, students' uh, mothers. Oh, uh -uh. hi, Erica. Uh, hi. <laughs> So you guys, are you ready for a break before we continue on our season? I mean, 
So, so I guess we could tell people that we're gonna do stuff for Jean Uver. Oh and yeah, yeah. We said February in French. <laughs> I mean, it's been yeah. I, was it weird for you guys? It was weird doing a season with no figure skating, but it was. I mean, we managed, uh, but uh, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting uh, for the next year because I think uh, Four Continents is Zilcha. I think um, Europeans is also not in question, but uh, we'll 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 create some content for you guys, Jackie. will whip us into shape. I'll crack the whip and get these guys yeah. going. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, kind of cool though, too, if you're watching and there's something you'd like to hear Dylan and Asher talk about, tell yeah. us. You, you guys can direct us. Yes. Well, 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 them, well. not me. Yeah. You don't we get can't paid. promise we'll listen. <laughs> like Jackie. You know, we can't promise we'll listen, but we'll talk. I can promise they'll listen. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we'll have to think of some ideas, but we're going to obviously take like the holidays off, but then we'll be back next year and mm -hmm. you can watch us on YouTube. Yes. 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 Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. We're going to get lit. <laughs> we are going to get lit in 2021. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers to a very new year of not bigger skating. Water, but I'm going to do it. Cheers. Okay. Great job, guys. Thank you, Jackie, Thank you for, for, for these last two years. Um, is it two years? Yeah. This, this is a second year. year. Second year. But uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for dealing with us, putting up with us, and being behind the scenes. And, um, you know. Yeah. <laughs> likewise. Likewise. Thanks for putting up with me. And I'm excited to see what we'll do in 2021. And I'm excited to see everyone come back next year and watch on YouTube, CBC Sports. Sorry, I got to plug it, guys. I got to plug yeah, it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, uh, you know, like Jackie said, supporting us and watching our show. We love you guys. And uh, we will be back with entertaining stuff, hopefully. Yeah. Like uh, like Jackie said, let us know in the comments what you would like to see us do in the coming, uh, in the coming months with Son skating. Uh, it would be great to have a little bit of, uh, you know, crowdsourcing and some uh, uh, production from the skating community. Um, and as well as, you know, subscribe yeah. You cool. yeah yeah as always subscribe you know give yeah. us a like give us a comment and, and uh, uh enjoy your holidays stay safe and um we will see you guys next year yes thank you bye everybody bye.